I'm Sheila Knight. I'm the environmental engineer for MTSU, and we are required by the state to, to uh, look at water quality, quantity, and all things that affect our stormwater runoff. And in the process of this, the city of Murfreesboro and MTSU are work together as co-partners in this program. Stormwater runoff from an urban environment with all the pavement and roofs and cars can pollute the streams. And the science showed that and uh, regulations were promulgated by EPA and the state of Tennessee that required Murfreesboro and other cities to have programs to keep the stormwater clean. Statewide, MTSU had a group of folks in the Center for Environmental Education who, who were assisting statewide local governments to do education uh, on stormwater quality and stream quality. So now that's uh, the folks that are helping us are housed in the operations side of MTSU, facilities management, who, who run their stormwater program as well. And so we actually pay them and work with them to implement these projects. We've really enjoyed working with the city so far. Uh, we do a lot of the education and outreach for the city from the stormwater permit. We're required to do targeted education. We do general education, we do targeted education, and we have to report those at the end of the year. And uh, we really enjoy all of the activities and projects we have going on. We work uh, constantly with the city stormwater department. And part of our, the permit says that we are supposed to have uh, public participation. And so that is one of our goals, is to get the public involved. Uh, one of our uh, city regulations that we pretty much know and can see is having a benefit is the streamside buffer, our water quality protection area. Our ordinance refers to it as that. We, we can show some areas where our buffer, our regulatory buffer is in place and so there's more shade on the streams, the stream water is cooler and there's going to be uh, that's a good thing for water quality, in short. Those kinds of projects where there are volunteers, um, I mean, it worked, you know, we have photographs and signatures and we, they brought out a bunch of students several times during the year. So, and we planted trees or did whatever. So, you know, success. We usually have a lot of MTSU students because they're really into serving the community and their teachers and professors really uh, push this. They really want them to realize what impacts they can make on society and how they can be po a positive impact instead of a negative. We could do much of this at the city if we weren't doing other things, or but it's a better, better product, a better outreach with MTSU. We try to make sure that everything we do is safe. Uh, so we provide all of the equipment and everything that's needed for the activities. And we like to get people of all sizes, ages, to, uh, kids can come out, they can help pick up trash, or you know, they can help plant seedlings, or they can kind of help their parents plant or do whatever they want to do to help out. We've had different groups such as uh, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, they're interested in serving the community. So any groups out there that are interested in serving your community and making a difference and feeling like you've done something can come and be a part of any of our activities. Well, if you'd like to be on the volunteer list, you can email me. Um, it's Sheila, S-H-E-L-I-A dot Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T, at M-T-S-U dot E-D-U, and we'll be happy to put you on the list, and you can give us, we just really need your email address. You don't have to provide any personal information, your name and your email, and we'll shoot you out an email letting you know what's going on. And we would love to have anybody come out and help.